Hi everybody and welcome to the End Channel Video Blog. And today what I want to talk about is the Fluke 233. So let's get right into this review on this really unique multimeter. And it's got one badass feature that I got to point out immediately. And that is the wireless display. So let's get right into it and actually start this review. So now what accessories actually come with the Fluke 233? Well first off you got your thermocouple and this is an awesome little device. This is going to help you troubleshoot mechanical stuff like overheating bearings, overheating anything. And it's just really nice to actually have the ability to look at things. And with combination of the min-max features on the actual Fluke 23, it gives you a really diverse outlook on how to troubleshoot things. Next thing it comes with is the test leads. Now these are really nice, they have good flexibility, you're not fighting the movement of them, as well as the fact they got really sharp tips, and that's awesome when you're trying to take a ground measurement over a car frame or something like that, and there's a little bit of oxidization that you got to pierce. And then finally, these alligator clips. Fluke, they do an amazing job on these, and why I say that is because they're really well insulated so it's going to prevent against shorts, and the fact that they attach really nicely to your actual multimeter leads. So it's just a really well thought out tool right there. Now one negative aspect I got to focus on here on the Fluke 233 is that it only has three terminals. And what that means is you can't really measure microamps with this. Where if you compare it to something like the Fluke 289, it's got a microamps and a regular amps jack. And what that means is this has a lot more versatility. Where something like the Fluke 23 is pretty well a dedicated electrician's meter. Now what I have here is the lights off and I just want to show you the backlight of the screen. Now as you can see it's not really a balanced image. You can see that the LED is right here on the screen and it's emitting light only from this portion. So I wish they did a little bit more and threw another LED just to have a balanced screen. Now as far as the display screen goes, it's pretty well standardized. It's a nice seven segment display, so there's not gonna be too much questions as to what you're actually displaying number-wise. Is it as nice as something, let's just say, as a graphical display? No, but the fact is with the seven segment, you have less power consumption, so your battery's gonna last longer. So now I just want to go through all the measurement capabilities this unit has. And the first one we're going to start off is the AC measurement. Now this is a true RMS meter, which is always a nice feature. It's going to give you really high accurate ratings. And the accuracy of this is 1% plus or minus 3 counts. And its range is from 0.1 millivolts to 1,000 volts. Now the DC measurement capabilities of this is a lot more accurate than the AC capabilities, as every meter is. And it has an accuracy of... 0.25% plus or minus 2 counts. And this also has the exact same range of measurements from 0 0.01 millivolts to 1000 volts DC. Now one feature I really like about this multimeter is this, and that is the dedicated millivolts. And it's offered in DC and AC on the unit. And what that's going to allow you to do is take really highly accurate readings for the lower ranges. And so when you're trying to find the potential difference over a wire lead or something like that, this is what's going to allow you to do that. Now the next setting we have here is the ohms and continuity. And as far as the ohms go, it's a very wide range. It goes from 0 0.1 ohms to 40 mega ohms. So a really diverse range. Now if we hit the yellow button and toggle to the continuity, let's see how responsive the system is. You see how it sort of registers and very quickly? It's a really nice feature that Fluke always integrates is the fact that they have a very responsive continuity. Now the next measurement ability we're going to take a look at is the capacitance and the diode measurements. And it's got a really diverse range for the actual capacitance. And what the range is, is from 1 nanofarad to 9,999 microfarads. And that's a huge measurement ability, because that's going to allow you to measure from bandpass filters to actual motors, where you're trying to measure the capacitance of a motor that needs the ability to bring the motor out of phase in order to start it up. As well as the forward diode, it's always nice to see that your diodes are working and the required voltage to actually make them operate. Now probably one of the most useful troubleshooting tools nowadays is your actual temperature reading. And this one's really nice, it's got a diverse range from negative 40 to 400 degrees Celsius. And of course that's also offered in Fahrenheit for people that still use that system. And the reason why I'm a huge fan of this type of measurement is it really does allow you to quickly analyze the situation if it's a mechanical failure or electrical failure. If you're having a debate with a gentleman, if it's a mechanical failure, you hook that up to a bearing, and if you see an exceeding amount of heat, you know where the problem is. Now the next measurement I want to do here for the capabilities of this multimeter is the actual amperage. Now if we quickly look, you can see that it highlights lead, and I have the thermocouple still hooked up in here, and it's saying that you're not in the right terminals. So it's a really nice safety feature which is going to help you prevent from blowing fuses. So it's really nice to see that they've integrated that design. Now as far as the accuracy goes for the actual AC measurement of amperage, you have a range from 1 milliamp to 10 amps. And that is at an accuracy of 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1
with plus or minus three counts. Now the final measurement this thing's capable of doing is DC amperage and it's got the exact same range as the AC and that has a range of 1 milliamp to 10 amps. And this is going to be really nice because that's going to cover your 4 to 20 amp transmitters and so it's got a perfect amount of range for your actual electricians. Now just one little feature I missed here is the actual frequency measurement. So this right here can measure frequency and that's a useful tool when you're just trying to establish what type of system it is if you're measuring a VFD and you want to know what the actual output is or something like that. And that has a range from 5 hertz to 50 kilohertz. So once again, it's perfect for that VFD measurements. Now I just want to go through some of the other capabilities in the interface and other than the rotary switch. So the rotary switch is just obviously what allows you to take the different types of measurements. But right here, you have your yellow button right here. And that allows you to toggle between the functions here. So for example, I have on the ohms, and you can see that ohms is in white, and continuity is in yellow. So if you hit the yellow button, now you're in continuity testing. And then just hit the exact same button to toggle back. And as well as the hold function. So you can hold a measurement, and that's sort of a nice thing if you don't want to actually write it down or something like that, or just hold something relative to what you're measuring. The next feature it actually has is your min and max. So if we toggle this over to temperature, it's actually going to be displaying what the temperature is when it's at its max and it's high. So if I just heat up this thermocouple here, you can see that it's spiking up. So now if we go through the functions, the minimum that we measured was 18.2, the average is 24.5, and our current is 24 point, well, in this case it's gradually going down, and our maximum is 28.6. Very useful function. Now the next interface we have here is the range, and what that allows you to do is to toggle between measurements. So for example, degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. And our last function that we have is the actual backlight. Now, the coolest feature about this multimeter is the wireless display. So what I'm going to do is actually run this up and throw this in my fridge and actually take the measurement in there, and I'm going to take the measurement here in my lab. And what that's going to allow us to do is to actually see the range that this thing has. So now I ran up the stairs and I threw this in the fridge. So as you can tell, it's got a couple of physical bears that this thing's actually transmitting through. First off, a fridge. So that's pretty well metal, all that stuff, so it actually has an amazing range. As well as a flight of stairs and some hardwood and stuff like that, all intercepting that signal. So this is a huge feature for this multimeter. And the first reason is safety. If you think about it, there's a lot of panels now that we use, and you can't operate with them open. They have a lot of actual protection in them. So that's one feature that I really like about this. It's a safe meter, and it's really convenient. If you're in an awkward position, you can actually use this to an ergonomic ability. And it's well thought out. It's hard to illustrate here, but as you can see on the actual screen, it's not 90 degrees. It actually tilts up. So they have the ergonomic display right in place. Now, if the ergonomics was enough for you, check out this feature they have. A magnetic display. That's huge. I mean, all the panels we're working on, they're generally steel. So it's a really nice feature that they incorporated onto this. The fact is you have your actual measurements occurring inside, and you have this on the outside of the panel. Really well thought out. Now overall physically, I think they did an awesome job on this multimeter. It's got a really nice comfortable feel and it's also really well designed. There's a lot of mechanical motion right here, so they almost have a dovetail joint right here which ensures that the multimeter slides in properly. But one feature I really like about this is the fact they use infrared to communicate between the two systems. And the reason why I'm really stoked that they use infrared is there's no mechanical motion. So it's not a push button or something like that, or even worse, exposed wires. So if you work in a place where there's a lot of dust or something like that, you don't have to worry about contaminants actually getting into the system and affecting the actual ability of this. And the reason why they even bother doing this instead of just communicating wirelessly all the time is your current drain. Your current drain doubles, basically, when you use this to actually power up the wireless system. So it's a really well thought out system. And basically, the battery life of this system is 400 hours. So if you think about it, if you're using it wirely, uh, wirelessly all the time, you have 200 hours of life. Now, of course, Fluke always does a good job, but there's one feature I really wish they incorporated onto this, and that is the ability to measure duty cycle. They didn't incorporate that, and with DC motor control being really apparent these days, it would be a nice little integrated feature. And of course, the other thing I didn't touch base on, it's a CAT4 under 600 volts and a CAT3 under 1,000 volts. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this review. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.